This is the R36S, and on AliExpress it costs $52. And uh, yeah, today I'll be unboxing it. Some people call it the Retro Boy, which is what this channel is called. So um, yeah, I just had to buy it. Um, I haven't really done any research on it. I was like, oh, Retro Boy. Oh, I gotta, I gotta buy this thing. And um, yeah, that's really it. So let's see here. Eye protection. Pretty sure it doesn't have eye, eye protection. 640 by 480p. That's... Uh, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. That's actually pretty bad. But since the screen is really small, I don't know. RCPU, quad-core arm, uh, I'm not sure about that. Up to 1.5 gigahertz, that's pretty fast for a cheap thing like this. One gigabyte DDR3L, uh, 3.5 inch IPS. Yeah, 2.5G 5, 5G Wi-Fi, wait, what? This thing is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth? Support PSP, PS1, NDS, DCSS, N64, CPS1, whatever that is, FBA. Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, SFC, FCMD. Wow, yep, yeah. okay, a lot of shit, okay, a lot of shit. What else do we have here? Yeah, that's just the controls. So yeah, let's look at this thing. Wait, was this packaged in? Yeah, it's upside down. Anyways, let's open it. Okay, it, it actually weighs a pretty fair amount. Let's see if there is anything else in the box here. Okay, USB-C charger and a screen protector, plastic screen protector, wipes and manual. Yeah, you know what? Fuck the manual, let's just go straight into it. Whoop, okay. Yeah, so took this off. Okay, this looks interesting. You know what, let's just apply the screen protector right away. Please peel off this mask before application. Uh, boom. Okay. There we go. And that's the screen protector. No clue why they don't just put it on when in the factory, but uh, yeah, okay. And it's fine, I guess. So that's the screen protector for the glass screen. Cool. Yeah, these are Nintendo Switch joysticks. I can already tell. Hopefully you can too. Wow, okay. You know what? This is pretty cool. R, up, down, volume, SD card, another SD card reader, buttons, USB-C, two USB-C ports. OTG, headphone jack, and DC. Those are speakers, I think. We'll see. You know what? Let's power this on. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Yeah, the screen is... Wow, yeah, the screen is awesome. Let's see how long this takes to boot. Oh, Arc OS. So it's running its own OS. That's interesting. Wow, okay, boom, right into it, I see. Let's see, FN, what does that mean? Nothing. Is there sound? It doesn't show that the sound's going up. Mm. You know what, let's see if, okay, favorites. Now these are just, do we have anything like Mortal Kombat 2? You know what, let's try that. Not sure what system this is for, but uh, let's just dive into it. It's forbidden by corporate law. If you are not entitled to emulate the system, please exit now. Wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, copyright is wrong, but I, of course, own this game. So, let's see here. Yeah, I think... Whoa. Yeah, okay, the screen is awesome. You know what? Let's find another game which I am more known with so I can test it out better. Okay, so you can just swipe down and find games. So I took off the screen protector. NES, 500 games. 
Super Nintendo. Uh, you know what? Let's go into the game. 3,000 games. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Mario. Let's see. Uh, Tetris DX. You know what? I'm pretty known with that game. And uh, I can test its input delay. Whoa. That is loud. But it stretches the screen too. Which is a little annoying. Let's test this out. Okay. Oh. Wait, is there input delay? Maybe not. I feel like I have to test it with a Game Boy Advance game because those are a little demanding. Like some of them. But if this thing actually has like good specs then wow yeah but it stretches the screen which is annoying oh press again to quit oh it quit okay oh so i'm back here uh okay now let's press b Let's find, you know what? No, let's find something more, even more demanding. PlayStation. Let's go into PlayStation. Let's see. Do I have like, what are some demanding games? Oh, that's all of them. There are not many PlayStation games. Let's see if I can find one. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. That should be pretty demanding. Oh, no PlayStation BIOS file found. Yikes. I mean, at least it showed... Oh? No, it works. Yeah, because if the BIOS file wouldn't have been there, it wouldn't launch. But that means there is a BIOS file. Okay, let's see how this runs. I don't know, I don't think there's any bugs yet. Yeah, the speaker is not there, it's there. Just noticed. So not sure why there are openings there. Wow, yeah, look at this. I mean, yes, it's PS1, but... Oh, press start. Now what happens? Will I just launch into the game? Yes, I will. Great. What happens now? Yeah, I mean, it runs great. I mean, it has a rechargeable battery, right? I don't really know what else to say about it. It looks to emulate the games it's supposed to emulate really well. And uh, as an emulator, I think like for $50, you should definitely pick this up. It's a custom board, of course, and the board looks, wow, pretty advanced, actually. There's a chip behind here, and I feel like it's getting a little hot, but it's probably not going to overheat. The screen is just awesome. I'm going to say that right away. The screen is freaking awesome. Oh, I've never played any Crash Bandicoot games. Yeah, it's an IPS screen, and it's freaking awesome. Better than the Game Boy Advance, of course. Okay, let's see here. Wait, can I look around? No. But I can play with these, I can play with this. But I can't look around. Oh, okay, so that's for crouching. Yeah, so those definitely work. Where am I supposed to go now? Can I jump? Yes. Oh, oh, almost kill myself. Whoa, what's, no, okay, yeah, that kills me. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, what else should I say? The sound could be a little better. It feels like it's a pretty low quality speaker, but it works, okay? For Game Boy games, it will be perfect. But uh, yeah, you might want to use a speaker. USB-C is the future. So yeah, I mean, all iPhones use it now. All 
Android, Samsung's use it now. What else uses it now? PCs use it now. Like everything is going over to USB-C. So it's good to see that there's no like micro USB port or whatever they would want to put on there. I'm not sure why there are two SD cards, but, or SD card slots, but uh, there are. You can also press on this button to restart it. Open source console. And I'm guessing you can actually run like, uh, I'm not gonna, you know what? I'm guessing you can run Windows on this thing. I'm guessing, okay? It's just a guess. But if you like connect a keyboard or something, because it is an open source device. So here you can see it runs some of, wait, is it a touch screen? No, it's not. Yeah, but it's it's running like some sort of open source system. You know what, let's just power this off. Yeah, and you can just press that once to just turn off the screen, Pre press it again, and it's back. You can do that in games too. Wait, PC Engine? What? So it runs like basically PC, old PC games, right? That is awesome, yes. Wow. Do I know anything here? F1. Yeah, F1. Great. Yeah, but I mean, I guess that's it. There's not much else to talk about. It's a pretty good plastic. It's pretty loud too. Let's run. Yeah, Japanese games. I would recommend if you like pick this up, I would recommend that you put in your own games. Wait, let's just turn this thing off so I can see how big the SD card is. Will it work to just completely turn this off? Yes. Let's see how big this SD card is. There's a sticker right there. Which doesn't want to let it go completely. 64 gigabytes. That's freaking awesome. That's worth a little. Oh. And uh, yeah, these stickers, they, they don't mean anything. You know what? Let's take this thing apart. I feel like it's not a complete tutorial if I don't take it apart. So let's take this thing apart. Whoop. Let me just go get my iFixit toolkit. All right, let's see. Because I mean, if you look at like the analog pocket or something like that, it looks pretty advanced from the inside. And uh, I'm wondering if this is like a pretty advanced console. I mean, it's custom built, yes, but there are different custom builds. There are the cheap ones, and then there are the good quality ones, I should say. Okay, how is this connected? Yup, oh my god, yeah, this looks pretty advanced. I just ripped that out. You know what? That's well deserved. That has never happened before, but... You know what? It's AliExpress. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, I'll have to put those back in, but uh, uh, I sh I'll probably just do that off camera. Wow, yeah, I learned my lesson, I guess. That has never happened before, but should have seen it coming. People did warn me about that. Let's take out all of these screws. Yeah, as you can see, it's the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. Joy-Con joysticks. Boom. Take that off. Yeah, those are the buttons. That's the speaker. You know what? Let's take out one joystick. I just want to confirm. That's not in all the way, though. Yeah, it is. It is. It's the same joystick that the Nintendo Switch uses. That's interesting. So they like custom printed a board and everything. It's like they're a serious company, I guess. They're not just building cheap shit. They're actually pretty serious about what they do. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's like the analog pocket, basically, just that this thing is much cheaper. And uh, personally, I would pick this up over the analog pocket. But, uh, I, I mean, you can't really compare them since the analog pocket is known for... What the hell? Why does this not want to go into its place? Since the analog pocket, you can, like, use original games on it. On this thing, you can just emulate, pirate, 
be a pirate. Boom. Yeah, I mean, what else is there to look at? Should I take out the entire board? You know what? Let's do that. Let's freaking do that. Boom. Mini LCD. So that's like you can replace the screen if you want to, which is awesome, of course. Always awesome. Two screws holding in the motherboard, which is an interesting choice, I'll say that. Right, there's only two. Oh, this might be a little hard to put back in. Not gonna lie. Boom. Yeah, and I mean, other side. Yeah, there you have the two SD card slots, two USB-C ports. It's a pretty basic board, but it works really well. Which is, yeah, I mean, props to the makers, right? Okay, let's see here. Now I need to put these back in. It's really well thought out machine, I should say. Really much engineering took to make it. Because I, I honestly was expecting some cheap emulation shit. But, I mean, kinda, kinda, but at the same time, I mean, they always like, one thing I do not like about these machines that if I would ever, like, want to resell this, I would have to install my own games because they install so many cheap, like, Japanese games that, I mean, who in the, who in the right mind play those games? Oh, I just put that in. Like, I don't think anyone plays those games, and they're not even known. And there's, like, in total, there's, like, 10,000 games, but quality over quantity, right? Wait, how the hell do I? I think I have to take out the joysticks, because the cable for them got stuck under here. Come on there, buddy. Hopefully I don't rip the freaking cable. That would be a bummer. Where in the hell is it? There we go. And then this one. There we go. There we go. Now you know what? Let's put in the motherboard first. I mean, this is like the correct way to tear it down, but I don't think anyone would ever have to tear it down. I'm actually pretty impressed. Like, how do people like come together and make like these motherboards? It's like, it's impressive, okay? It's impressive because I, I mean, I don't, first of all, I don't have the freaking knowledge. Of course I don't. And I mean, it's just impressive. Like the, I guess, motivation people have to like, Oh, you know what? There's, we can make a cheap console that emulates a lot of games. Like, cool. It's pretty cool. And there's like a big team. They like program the chips. They make their own OS. They use a lot of time to build this thing. And they, I mean, they don't even know if it will work. And I'm guessing there's like no Kickstarter for this, the, these kind of things. Wait, what? How the hell am I supposed to put this thing in? What? I mean, I guess like this, but... Oh, yeah, right under there. I thought it was good. Stupid. Stupid me. But yeah, I mean... Really smart people. Like, the time it takes to build one of these. Like, this one, you can see here, there's actually even a date. V12 R36S V12, I guess that's like the version number. 2023 818. So when was that? I don't really know the American dates. You know what? I'll have to power this thing on to test it out. Not sure if it will work. Alright, now the back. Make sure everything's in place. Yes, it is. There we 
go. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely pick this up. I wonder how, like, how long the battery lasts, actually. That's... But it should last a while. I'm guessing, because 3,500 milliamp. And the CPU is not that powerful. So the battery should... Oh, wow. What if I, like... Wow. That is not good for the battery to do. I'm not sure why I was stupid and just did that. One is in. Other one is in. Now I just need to make sure that it was supposed to be like this and that I just did not just put in the battery upside down or it might just explode the entire device. But you know what? 50-50. I'm going to risk it. Put it in. Come on. Come on. Get in there. There we go. Let's see if this works. And it might just explode right now. And, 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 and. Oh, there is no... Uh... SD, no, yeah, SD card. Maybe that's the reason. Wait, no, that's TF2. I need to put that right there. Boom. And is gambling the best way to make money? I don't need to turn this off and on again. Because the operating system was on that thing. And is gambling the best way to earn money? Of course it is. Of course it is. So, there we go. Put the back on. And boom! It's complete again. So yeah, if you have any questions about this thing, if you... Yeah, I mean, if you have any wonders, ask me and I'll answer. So yeah, thank you for watching. What? Quick search? I can search for games, that's even cooler. Wait, why do I press to search? E, okay, E, which is really cool. Wait, is there a touch screen? No, so you have to go like this manually. Yeah, that sucks, but yeah, you can search. Thank you for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.